Hey fam, hope you're doing well. We're continuing our reading of the Bible. We are in Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 22. Just the same as he did for the sons of Esau, who are dwelling in Seir, when he annihilated the Horites from before them, that they might dispossess them and dwell in their place until this day. As for the Yavim, who were dwelling in the settlements as far as Gaza, the Kaftorim, who came out from Kaftor, annihilated them, that they might dwell in their place. Get up, pull away, and cross the torn valley of Aaron. See, I have given into your hand Sihon, the king of Heshbon, the Amorite. So start to take possession of his land and engage in war with him. This day I shall start to put the dread of you and the fear of you before the peoples beneath all the heavens, who will hear the report about you, and they will indeed be agitated and have pains like those of childbirth because of you. Then I sent messengers from the wilderness of Kedemoth to Sihon, the king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land, only on the road I shall walk. I shall not turn to the right or turn to the left. What food you will sell me for money I must eat, and what water you will give me for money I must drink. Only let me pass through on my feet. Just the same as the sons of Esau dwelling in Seir, and the Moabites dwelling in Ard, did to me, until I shall pass over the Jordan into the land that Jehovah, our God, is giving to us. And Sihon the king of Heshbon did not let us pass through him, because Jehovah your God had let his spirit become obstinate and his heart become hard, in order to give him into your hand just at this day. At this Jehovah said to me, See, I have started to abandon Sihon and his land to you. Start to take possession of his land. When Sihon came on out, he and all his people to meet us in battle at Jahaz. Then Jehovah our God abandoned him to us, so that we defeated him and his sons and all his people. And we went capturing all his cities at that particular time and devoting every city to destruction. Men and women and little children, we left no survivor. Only the domestic animals did we take as plunder for ourselves. Together with the spoil of the cities that we captured, from Arar, which is by the bank of the Torrent Valley of Arnon, and the city that is in the Torrent Valley, as far as Gilead, there proved to be no town that was too high up for us. Jehovah our God abandoned them all to us. Only you did not go near the land of the sons of Ammon, the whole bank of the Torrent Valley of Jabok, nor the cities of the mountainous region, nor anything about which Jehovah our God had given command. So now we're in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 3. Then we turned and went up by the way of Bashan. At this Og the king of Bashan came on out, he and all his people, to meet us in battle at Edrei. So Jehovah said to me, Do not be afraid of him, for I shall certainly give him and all his people and his land into your hands. And you must do to him just as you did to Sihon, the king of Amorites who was dwelling in Heshbon. Accordingly, Jehovah our God gave into our hand also Og the king of Bashan and all his people, and we kept striking him until he had no survivor remaining. And we went capturing all his cities at that particular time. There proved to be no town that we did not take from them, sixty cities, all region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these were cities fortified with high walls, doors, and bar, aside from very many rural towns. However, we devoted them to destruction, just as we had done to Sihon the king of Heshbon, in devoting every city to destruction, men and women and little children. And all the domestic animals and the spoil of the cities we took as plunder for ourselves. And as we proceeded to take all that particular time, the lands from the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, who were in the region of the Jordan, from the torn valley of Arnon as far as Mount Hermon. The Sidonians used to call Hermon Sirion, and the Amorites used to call it Senir. 
All the cities of the table land and all Gilead and all Bashan as far as Saleka and Edre, the cities of kingdom of Og in Bashan. For only Og the king of Bashan remained, and what was left of the Raphaim. Look, his bear was a bear of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the sons of Ammon? Nine cubits is its length, and four cubits its width, by the cubit of a man. And we took possession of this land at the particular time, from Arar, which is by the torrent valley of Arnon, and half of the mountainous region of Gilead, and its cities I have given to the Reubenites and the Gadites, and the rest of Gilead and all Bashan of the kingdom of Og I have given to the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the region of Argob, all Basham, it is not called the land of Raphaim. Jer, the son of Manasseh, took all the region of Argob, as far as the boundary of Geshurites and the Mathites, and he proceeded to call those villages of Bashan by his own name. Havoth Jer, to this day, and to Makir I have given Gilead, and to the Reubenites I have the Gad, they, oh sorry, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I have given from Gilead, to the Torrent Valley of Arnon, the middle of Torrent Valley being a boundary, and as far as Jabok, the Torrent Valley that is the boundary of the sons of Ammon, and the Arba and the Jordan at the border, from Chinereth to the Sea of the Arba, the Salt Sea, at the base of the slopes of Pisgah, toward the sun rising. So I command you men, at that particular time, saying, Jehovah your God has given you this land to take possession of it. You will pass over equipped before your brothers, the sons of Israel, all the valiant men. Only your wives and your little ones and your livestock, I well know that you have a great deal of livestock, you will continue dwelling in your cities that I have given you, until Jehovah gives your brothers rest as well as you, and they also have taken possession of the land that Jehovah your God is giving them across the Jordan, after which you must come back, each one to his holding, that I have given you. And I command Joshua at the particular time, saying, Your eyes are seeing all Jehovah your God has done to these two kings, the same way Jehovah will do to all the kingdoms to which you are passing over there. You men must not be afraid of them, for Jehovah your God is the one fighting for you. And I proceeded to implore favor from Jehovah at that particular time, saying, O sovereign Lord Jehovah, you yourself have startled to make your servant see your greatness and your strong arm. For who is a God in the heavens or on the earth that does deeds like yours and mighty performances like yours? Let me pass over, please, and see the good land that is across the Jordan, this good mountainous region, and Lebanon. And Jehovah continued to be furious against me on your account, and did not listen to me. But Jehovah said to me, That is enough of you. Never speak to me further on this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah and raise your eyes to the west and north and south and east, and see with your eyes. For you will not pass over this Jordan. And commission Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him, because he is the one to pass over before this people, and he is one to cause them to inherit the land that you will see. All this while we were dwelling in the valley in front of Beth Peor. Wow, that's intense.